Hello everyone, hope you're all keeping safe at home and I hope that you are having lots of fun and you've had lots of fun over the half term. Um, just want to apologise for not putting any videos up, we've been very very busy um, over the half term and over the past couple of days as well. Um, but we hope that you're still doing lots of fun learning at home using the home learning packs and that you're having lots of fun with your families at home and keeping safe. So, I thought I would read a story today, and the story I have chosen is Charlie Cook's favourite book. And it is by an author, and the author is somebody who has written the book, called Julia Donaldson. And there's a little sticker just at the bottom. Can you see that? Can you see the Gruffalo? She also wrote the Gruffalo, and the Gruffalo's Child as well. And there's lots and lots of others that she's written too. So she is a pretty famous author. So, I will start the book now. So, let's have a look. There we go. Are you sitting comfortably? Good. Right, I'll start. Once upon a time, there was a boy called Charlie Cook who curled up in a cosy chair and read his favourite book about a leaky pirate ship which very nearly sank and a pirate chief who got the blame and had to walk the plank. The chief swam to an island and went digging with his hook. At last he found a treasure chest and in it was a book <laughs> about a girl called Goldilocks and three indignant bears who cried, who's had our porridge and who's been sitting on our chairs? We all know it was Goldilocks. And they went into the bedroom and Baby Bear said, look, she's in my bed. And what is more, she's got my favourite book. Mm. About Sir Percy Pilkington, a bold and fearless knight, who told the dragon, wait, I'm not quite ready for the fight. You must hear this one first. And then his armour clanked and shook as he read aloud a joke he'd found inside his favourite book. I bet you all know lots and lots of really good jokes. About Rowena Redalot, a very well-read frog, who jumped upon a lily pad and jumped upon a log, then jumped into the library, which stood beside the book, and went, read it, read it, read it, as she jumped upon a book. <laughs> about an oak tree full of birds. Each bird had built a nest and they had a competition to s decide which one was best. They chose an owl to judge it and the winner was a rook whose nest was lined with pages from his very favorite book. <laughs> about a girl who saw a flying saucer in the sky. Some small green men were in it and they waved as they flew by. She tugged her mother's sleeve and said, Look, Mum, at what I've just seen. But Mum said, Hush, I'm trying to read my favourite magazine. About a wicked jewel thief who stole the king's best crown, but then got stuck behind some sheep, which slowed his car right down. The king dialed 999, and soon the cops had caught the crook and flung him into prison, where he read his favourite book about a greedy crocodile who got fed up with fish and went on land to try to find some other kind of dish he went into a bookshop and there he grew even greedier while reading on page 90 of a large encyclopedia an encyclopedia is a book where you can find lots of different information lots of facts about all things all over the world about the biggest birthday cake the world had ever seen. A team of royal cake makers had made it for the Queen. The cake was so delicious that a famous spaceman took a slice of it to Jupiter. He also took a book. About a ghost who glided round a castle every night, carrying her head and giving everyone a fright. She kept it up till morning, and then she found a shady nook and put her head back on again to read her favourite, what do you think I'm going to say, book. <laughs> a 
about a cosy armchair and a boy called Charlie Cook. There we go, and that's the end of our story. Well, I hope you really enjoyed that story. I enjoyed reading it. And until next time, keep safe and see you soon. Bye-bye.